Are you longing for a change but don't know where to start? Think of your life as a blank canvas. This audiobook is like a friend guiding you to paint your best picture. We'll talk about simple habits that can really make a difference. Imagine getting better just by changing small things every day, like thinking positively, taking time to be quiet and still, and moving your body. These steps might seem small, but they can lead you to big changes. You'll learn to see mistakes as chances to grow stronger. As you begin these habits, you'll notice not just you, but everything around you starts to change for the better. The power of daily meditation is habit number one. Meditation on a daily basis has the potential to significantly improve both your mental health and your quality of life in general. By spending a few minutes each day to quiet your thoughts and look inside, you have the capacity to improve your life in extraordinary ways. Meditation is not merely sitting quietly and doing nothing. It is an active practice that helps you to achieve inner serenity, clarity and emancipation. Engaging in meditation on a daily basis allows you to access the boundless potential that lies within your mind. It assists you in developing self-awareness, which enables you to observe your thoughts without attaching yourself to them or passing judgment on them. When you have this awareness, you are able to choose how you react to different situations rather than reacting on impulse rather than responding. When you engage in consistent practice, you will discover that negative emotions such as stress, anxiety and anger no longer have the ability to control your life. Instead, you grow more robust and better able to manage whatever problems come your way. Meditation also helps your mental well-being by cultivating a feeling of serenity and calmness inside yourself. It gives a respite from the stress of daily life and helps you to connect with a deeper feeling of tranquility. As you delve into this inner quiet consistently, it becomes simpler for optimism and pleasure to permeate through every facet of your existence. As we move into the upcoming part regarding exercise for a healthy mind and body, remember that meditation is just one piece of the jigsaw when it comes to having a full life. Combining meditation with physical activity may generate a strong synergy that magnifies the benefits even more. So let's investigate how exercise may improve both our thoughts and bodies on this revolutionary path towards liberty. Habit number two, exercise for a strong mind and body. Make sure you're including exercise into your regimen to improve both your mind and body. Exercise is not only about physical health, it has the capacity to alter your whole existence. When you participate in regular physical exercise, you are taking a step towards emancipation from stress, negativity and limits. Exercise is a great tool that may increase your mental well-being. Endorphins, which are chemicals that make you feel good and enhance your mood and decrease anxiety, are released as a result of this. You will be able to think more clearly and with more concentration as a result of this. Releasing yourself from the shackles of self-doubt and releasing the potential that is inside you may be accomplished via physical activity. In addition, physical activity works to build your body, making it more robust and capable of confronting the problems that life throws at you head on. As a result of its ability to increase strength and endurance, it enables you to push beyond limitations that you previously thought were impossible. As you continue to exercise, your body will naturally get more powerful turning it into a vessel for emancipation, but you shouldn't allow the thought of working out make you feel overwhelmed or intimidated. Take baby steps. You may go for a stroll around your neighborhood or sign up for a yoga session for beginners. Come up with a pursuit that not only makes you happy on a spiritual level, but also makes you want to exercise your body. When it comes to physical activity, it is important to keep in mind that consistency is the key. 
you should make it a non-negotiable component of your daily routine, something that feeds both your mind and body on a regular basis. Developing a development attitude is habit number three. When it comes to realizing your full potential and welcoming personal progress, cultivating a growth mindset is very necessary. The moment has come for you to break free from the constraints that have been holding you back and to enter a world where the possibilities are literally endless. Possessing a growth mindset is having faith in one's own capacity to acquire new knowledge, develop and advance. Rather of seeing problems as hurdles to be conquered, it is important to instead view them as chances for progress. When you have a development mentality, you are no longer limited by the capabilities you now possess or the situations you are currently facing. You are aware that if you put in the work, remain persistent and use the appropriate tactics, you are capable of doing everything you set your mind to. It is no longer something to be afraid of, but rather a chance for growth and development that may be gained via failure. Developing a development mindset allows you to break free from the limitations that are imposed on you by self-doubt and limiting beliefs. When confronted with difficulties, you develop a more open mind and a more robust mind. As you encounter obstacles on your path to achievement, you choose to consider them as stepping stones rather than as reasons to give up and give up on yourself. Adopting a growth mindset gives you the ability to accept responsibility for your own personal development, which is another benefit. You have come to the realization that it is your responsibility to seek out new experiences, skills and information that will assist you in developing. You make a concerted effort to get input from other people and make good use of it in order to improve your skills. Establishing objectives becomes of the utmost importance in the process of attaining personal change when you have a growth mindset as your basis. Objectives are what give one's life both direction and meaning. They provide us with a meaningful goal to strive toward with our efforts. In the next part, we will discuss the significance of establishing objectives in more depth so that you may begin taking steps right now toward achieving the life of freedom and satisfaction that you have earned. Goal setting is a crucial habit. It is essential to establish objectives in order to develop a distinct path that leads to personal development and achievement. The moment has come for you, my listener, to take responsibility of your life and embark on the trip that will lead you to greater freedom. By establishing objectives that are relevant to you and are in line with your most profound aspirations, you have the ability to turn your dreams into a reality. As a first step in this process, you will need to determine what it is that is actually important to you. Take a time to think about the things that you are passionate about, the values you hold, and the goals you have for yourself. What is it that you hope to accomplish? To what type of a person do you aspire to develop yourself? You should give yourself permission to dream large and to imagine a future that is exciting to you. After you have gained a better understanding of your goals, it is necessary to commence the process of breaking them down into more manageable tasks. Establish objectives that are attainable, quantifiable and detailed while also posing a challenge to you. Always keep in mind that progress is accomplished by taking baby steps. Commitment and uniformity are essential in this situation. Maintain a clear head and a strong sense of motivation as you begin on your path toward personal development. Remind yourself how important it is to achieve these objectives on a regular basis. To cultivate a positive environment, surround yourself with positive people, read books that inspire you, listen to podcasts that motivate you, and seek out people who are supportive and believe in your potential. Last but not least, you should make it a point to keep yourself responsible for achieving your objectives on a daily basis. It is through persistent work and persistence that one achieves success. 
as you make progress toward your ultimate goal, it is important to have a celebration for each milestone that you reach along the route. The ability for development and accomplishment that you possess is quite remarkable. In the process of setting objectives, it is not enough to just attain the end point. One must also be willing to embrace the process of change that occurs along the way. Then, my buddy, let your potential shine through. You may free yourself from restrictions and take the first step toward living the life you deserve by embracing the power of goal setting. Developing a good mindset is habit number five. My friend, if you allow yourself to be influenced by the power of positive, you will notice that your viewpoint will change to one that is full with hope and possibilities. By cultivating a good attitude, you give yourself access to a world of chances and liberty that you would not have otherwise had. Every single thing begins with your frame of mind, the manner in which you choose to see the world and react to it. It is not enough to just put on a grin or act as if everything is wonderful in order to be positive. It's about making the conscious decision to look for the positive aspects of any circumstance, regardless of how challenging it may be. You give yourself the ability to take action and bring about change when you shift your emphasis from problems to solutions and from restrictions to possibilities because you accomplish this. Take a time to think about the things that you are passionate about, the values you hold, and the goals you have for yourself. What is it that you hope to accomplish? To what type of a person do you aspire to develop yourself? You should give yourself permission to dream large and to imagine a future that is exciting to you. After you have gained a better understanding of your goals, it is necessary to commence the process of breaking them down into more manageable tasks. Establish objectives that are attainable, quantifiable and detailed, while also posing a challenge to you. Always keep in mind that progress is accomplished by taking baby steps. As you engage on this road toward personal development, it is essential that you maintain a level of commitment and consistency Maintain your concentration and your drive. Remind yourself how important it is to achieve these objectives on a regular basis. Put yourself in an environment that is upbeat and encouraging by reading books that are uplifting, listening to podcasts that are motivational, and looking for people who are encouraging and who believe in your potential. Last but not least, you should make it a point to keep yourself responsible for achieving your objectives on a daily basis. It is through persistent work and persistence that one achieves success. As you make progress toward your ultimate goal, it is important to have a celebration for each milestone that you reach along the route. The ability for development and accomplishment that you possess is quite remarkable. In the process of setting objectives, it is not enough to just attain the end point. One must also be willing to embrace the process of change that occurs along the way. Therefore, my buddy, let your potential shine through. You may free yourself from restrictions and take the first step toward living the life you deserve by embracing the power of goal setting. Habit number five is to work on developing a more optimistic outlook. My friend, if you allow yourself to be influenced by the power of positive, you will notice that your viewpoint will change to one that is full with hope and possibilities. By cultivating a good attitude, you give yourself access to a world of chances and liberty that you would not have otherwise had. Every single thing begins with your frame of mind, the manner in which you choose to see the world and react to it. It is not enough to just throw on a grin or act as if everything is fine in order to be positive. Rather, it is about making the conscious decision to concentrate on the positive aspects of any circumstance, regardless of how challenging it may be. You give yourself the ability to take action and bring about change when you shift your emphasis from problems to solutions and from restrictions to possibilities because you accomplish this. On a daily basis, 
Set aside some time to think on the things for which you are thankful. Gratitude allows us to create happiness by serving as a reminder of the many benefits that are present in our lives. Keep a thankfulness journal in which you record three things for which you are thankful each morning and evening and allow the feeling of appreciation to permeate your whole being. Create an environment in which you are surrounded by good influences, individuals who encourage and motivate you. Find mentors who have already accomplished what you want to do in life and pay attention to the advice they provide you. Engage in pursuits that provide you happiness and a sense of accomplishment, whether it is reading books that motivate you or participating in pastimes that stoke the fires of your inspiration. Always keep in mind, my friend, that developing a happy attitude is not a process that can be accomplished quickly. Rather, it calls for continual work and practice. On the other hand, if you are able to endure through difficulties with optimism and celebrate even the little triumphs along the road, you will discover that you eventually become more resilient and stronger. Prioritizing self-care is the sixth habit. When it comes to maintaining a healthy and balanced lifestyle, it is very necessary to provide time for self-care. You have earned the right to put yourself first, to prioritize your own needs, and to take care of your mind, body, and soul via self-care. The moment has come to break free from the idea that taking care of oneself is a kind of self-indulgence or selfishness. In point of fact, it is an expression of love from you to yourself, as well as to people around you. While bubble baths and face masks are certainly enjoyable, they are not the only things that fall under the category of self-care. In every facet of your life, it is about providing nourishment to your spirit and taking care of your overall well-being. It involves making time for things that offer you pleasure, such as reading a book, doing yoga, or going for a stroll in the woods when you are outside. It entails establishing limits and being able to say no when it is necessary in order to avoid spreading oneself too thin. When you make taking care of yourself a priority, you are making an investment in your own happiness and satisfaction. You will have more energy to contribute to other people if you take care of yourself first at all times. In the presence of individuals around you, you develop a greater capacity for presence, patience and compassion. The practice of self-care enables you to replenish your energy reserves, enabling you to present yourself as the most improved version of yourself on a daily basis. Keep in mind that the concepts of self-care might vary from person to person. Determine what works best for you and make it a part of your routine that you cannot compromise on. The pursuit of the things that offer us pleasure is something that we should make time for since life is too delightful to not seek the things that bring us joy. Adopting a nutritious diet is habit number seven. If you want to include a healthy diet into your lifestyle, you may begin by increasing the amount of fruits and vegetables that you consume in each meal. Your decision to do so is a significant step toward breaking free from the shackles of bad eating habits that have been holding you back. Imagine the bold hues and invigorating tastes that will flood your plate, providing nourishment to both your physical body and your spiritual being. The process of making this shift could seem to be intimidating at first, but keep in mind that even the smallest steps matter. To begin, try substituting a handful of crisp carrots for your afternoon snack or adding a handful of berries to your breakfast. Both of these options come highly recommended. You will experience a boost in your energy levels, an improvement in your digestion, and an overall feeling of well-being as you begin to integrate more fruits and vegetables into your meals. Rather from seeing this adjustment as a limiting diet, it is essential to consider it as a chance for development. Develop your culinary skills by trying out new recipes, experimenting with a variety of tastes, and learning the pleasure of making nutritious meals from scratch. Keep in mind that every decision you make in favor of consuming healthy meals 
is a choice that you are making toward loving and empowering yourself. Through the adoption of a nutritious diet, you are not only bringing about a change in your own life, but you are also serving as a model for others who are in your immediate vicinity. The dedication you have shown to your health and fitness will serve as an example to those you care about. If you want to be liberated via nutrition, then you should go ahead and take that initial step. It is essential that you acknowledge the influence that healthy relationships have on our entire well-being as you begin on this road toward improved eating habits. Building solid connections is habit number eight. It is essential for your general well-being to cultivate healthy connections with other people, since doing so may significantly contribute to your own personal development. The human brain is hardwired to connect with other people, to share our happiness and sadness with one another, and to provide emotional support to one another as we navigate the ups and downs of life. Create a strong network of love, trust and support that can drive you ahead on your road toward liberation by cultivating meaningful relationships with other people. This network can help you move forward in your journey. Invest some time and effort into cultivating the connections that are most important to you. Show your loved ones that you are there for them with all of your heart. Pay close attention to what they have to say and provide assistance whenever it is available. It is important to keep in mind that being in a relationship is not just about receiving something, it is also about giving something. If you are willing to be vulnerable, you should also be open to new experiences and points of view, and you should give people the opportunity to see you in your true form. Making an investment in healthy relationships demands a commitment and a lot of work. This indicates that while spending time with loved ones, one should not allow themselves to be distracted by technology or work, but rather be fully present in the moment. It involves making an attempt to address disagreements in a peaceful manner, rather than allowing them to develop into anger when they are not resolved. It also implies placing a higher value on spending quality time together rather than focusing on superficial interests or financial belongings. Building good connections is a process that lasts a lifetime and takes continual attention and care from the one doing the building. The benefits, on the other hand, incalculable. In addition to fostering a feeling of belonging, providing support during challenging times, celebrating our triumphs, and eventually assisting us in becoming the greatest versions of ourselves, strong relationships offer us with other benefits. Therefore, today is the day to take a step towards strengthening the ties you have with the people around you. Tell someone you care about, whether it's a friend or a member of your family, how much they mean to you by reaching out to them and expressing your feelings. Make an effort to either strengthen the connections you already have or to establish new ones that are founded on mutual respect and comprehension. You should always keep in mind that you possess the ability to build loving relationships that will benefit not only your life but also the lives of people who are in your immediate vicinity. As you start on this path toward liberty and personal development, it is imperative that you embrace this power with all of your heart. Developing a daily regimen is habit number nine. Your ability to build structure and consistency in your day may be increased by developing a daily routine, which can also lead to an improvement in your general well-being and productivity. Now is the moment for you to take charge of your life and make some kind of constructive adjustments. You are putting yourself in a position to achieve success by the establishment of a daily routine. To start, you should determine your priorities and your objectives. Is there anything that you want to achieve? What are some areas of your life that may need some improvement? When you have a well-defined strategy in place, you should break it down into a series of smaller tasks that can be accomplished on a daily basis. Because of this, you will be able to maintain your concentration and motivation. The last step is to schedule precise times throughout the day for each activity or job. Make sure that your timetable is practical, but at the same time, 
push yourself to push yourself beyond the boundaries of your comfort zone. It is important to keep in mind that progress occurs when we challenge ourselves beyond what we believe is possible. Stay true to the plan. When it comes to developing a daily routine, consistency is the most important factor. Even on days when you are feeling unmotivated, it is important to remind yourself of the reasons you began in the first place. Every seemingly little activity, when added together over time, makes a contribution to the overall picture. Ensure that you include activities that promote self-care into your daily routine. Taking care of oneself is not an act of selfishness. Rather, it is essential for one's own development and general well-being overall. Whether it be via physical activity, meditation, reading, or any other activity that brings you pleasure and revitalizes your soul, be sure to schedule time for it. Although you are developing this new habit of adhering to a daily schedule, it is important to keep in mind that freedom is found in practice. The strength of structure is something that should be embraced since it leads to liberation from chaos and uncertainty. Achieve a sense of control over each day by approaching it with intention, purpose and resolve. Your future self will be grateful to you for making the investment in this practice that will alter you. Learning to deal with stress is habit number 10. Learning how to deal with stress is really necessary in order to stick to a lifestyle that is both healthy and balanced. Stress has the potential to make you feel miserable, sap your vitality and impede your progress toward achieving freedom. But there is no need to be concerned. You have the ability to take charge of your stress and live a life that is liberated from its hold. It is essential to determine the factors that cause your stress in order to begin the process of stress management. Is it anything to do with your job, with your relationships, or about your finances? Once you have identified these sources, you will be able to confront them head-on using techniques that are well-targeted. In order to complete each one of them, you need first break them down into smaller jobs. Take a few slow, deep breaths, Picture yourself succeeding and tell yourself that you are capable of defeating any obstacle that stands in your way. It is essential to include the relaxation methods into your daily routine in addition to addressing the causes of stress in a direct manner. Find a method that works best for you, whether it be meditation, yoga or just going for a stroll in the woods and make it a point to engage in that method. Participating in these exercises will assist you in calming your mind, releasing stress from your body and re-establishing internal harmony. As an antidote to stress, it is important to remember to practice self-care. Make it a priority to engage in things that offer you happiness and revitalize your soul. When you are on this path toward emancipation, it is important to surround oneself with good influences who will encourage and support you. It is important to bear in mind, as we go on to the next part, about cultivating an attitude of appreciation, that the goal of stress management is not to eradicate all difficulties from our life, but rather to cultivate a resilience that allows us to persevere in the face of adversity. When you take the time to educate yourself on effective methods of stress management, you are laying the groundwork for a more positive future that is filled with appreciation and abundance. Gratitude is the eleventh habit to adopt. To get the most out of the advantages of practicing thankfulness, you should make it a habit to set aside some time every day to think about the things for which you are thankful and to show your appreciation for those things. Although it can seem to be a simple action, it really has a tremendous amount of power to completely alter the course of your life. You are able to adjust your perspective and welcome abundance into your environment when you intentionally concentrate on what you have rather than what you do not have within your possession. The cultivation of a mentality that appreciates every little thing, regardless of how great or tiny it may be, is what it means to be thankful. Being grateful is not simply about expressing gratitude or feeling glad in fleeting moments. 
finding delight in the smallest pleasures and appreciating the beauty that may be found in ordinary moments are both important aspects of this. You will be able to attract more of what gives you happiness and open yourself up to more positive experiences if you do this. Being grateful is a decision that must be made consciously and it is a choice that calls for work and dedication. It is recommended that you begin by maintaining a thankfulness diary in which you record three things that you are thankful for each day. Your mind will be trained to look for the positive even when things are difficult if you engage in this simple habit. This practice will eventually become second nature to you and thankfulness will infiltrate every facet of your life as time goes on from here on out. Through consistent expressions of appreciation, we build a mindset that is more characterized by plenty than by a sense of lack. Where we had previously seen challenges, we are now beginning to see opportunity. Deeper appreciation is developed for the individuals in our immediate environment and we forge deeper bonds with them. Most essential, we acquire the ability to completely embrace each moment with love and respect and to be totally present in the moment. Creating good communication abilities is habit number 12. The ability to communicate effectively is very necessary for the development of solid relationships and the promotion of mutual understanding. Improving your capacity to communicate successfully may have a significant impact on your life in a society where connection is of the utmost importance. Imagine having the ability to articulate your views and requirements with self-assurance, as well as the ability to effectively explain yourself. Visualize the power that comes from having the ability to thoroughly comprehend other people, to listen attentively, and to empathize with the experiences that others have had. Through the cultivation of these abilities, you will be able to free yourself from misunderstandings, disputes, and chances that you have missed. To get started, you should engage in active listening practice. It is imperative that you give someone your whole attention while they are speaking to you, rather than just waiting for your chance to speak. Make an effort to pay attention to what they are saying without interrupting or passing judgment. To ensure that they feel heard and understood, it is important to ask clarifying questions and to reflect back what they have stated. Next, accept the fact that you are vulnerable in your conversation. Make sure you are willing to communicate your truth in an open and honest manner without worrying about being judged or rejected. There is nothing else that can cultivate trust and strengthen bonds as much as authenticity can. When you let go of the urge to constantly be right or flawless, you make room for genuine understanding and progress in your life. The ability to read non-verbal signals is another crucial component of successful communication. It is important to pay attention to the tone of speech, facial expressions and body language. These oblique messages often communicate more effectively than the words themselves. By being aware of your own non-verbal signals, as well as those of other people, you may improve your ability to navigate discussions and make better use of information. It is important to keep in mind that communication is a two-way street. It takes active engagement from all people concerned. In order to develop empathy, you should try to put yourself in the position of the other person and make an effort to comprehend their point of view before you respond or react. Building financial independence is habit number 13. Imagine the sense of empowerment you would feel if you were in charge of your own financial destiny. Imagine living a life in which you are no longer constrained by the restraints of debt and the stress of financial obligations. Imagine living in a world where you are able to follow your interests, travel the world, and live your life according to your own terms. If you go ahead and take action right now, this is not just a dream. It has the potential to become your reality. Taking responsibility for your bank account is the first step toward achieving financial freedom. To be successful, one must possess self-control, drive, 
and the courage to make difficult decisions. To begin started, you should make a budget that is in line with your objectives and principles. It is important to keep track of every dollar that is brought in and taken out, and to make sure that every spending serves a purpose. Eliminate spending that aren't required, and make budgeting and investing your money a top priority for the future. If you want to avoid risk and maximize profits while you are building up your funds, you should think about diversifying your assets. It is important to educate oneself about personal finance and to seek the assistance of professionals when necessary. It is important to keep in mind that achieving financial independence is not about the amount of money you have. Rather, it is about your ability to live your life according to your own terms. Being able to follow your ambitions without being hampered by financial restraints is about having the self-assurance and stability to do so. By taking charge of your financial situation and establishing a strong foundation for the future, you are laying the groundwork for a life that is rich in many opportunities and rich in satisfaction. So, now is the day to take the first step toward achieving financial independence. You will be grateful to your future self for doing so. The next step is to concentrate on removing any costs that aren't required from your life. Spend less on things that are considered to be luxurious and give priority to just those things that actually provide worth and pleasure to your life. Becoming financially independent may be accomplished by adopting a modest lifestyle. One other essential element in the process of accumulating money is investing. To increase the value of your assets over time, you should make the most of chances that arise in the stock market or the real estate market. You should educate yourself on the various investing options and when required, you should seek the guidance of a specialist. Last but not least, never forget the advantages of putting money aside for the future. Establish a contingency fund that serves the purpose of covering unforeseen costs without impeding your progress toward achieving financial independence. Embracing minimalism is habit number 14. When you embrace minimalism, you are able to simplify your existence and concentrate on the things that are genuinely important to you. Creating room for emancipation and independence is accomplished by letting go of the excess that you have. The concept of minimalism is not dependent on deprivation. Rather, it is a purposeful decision to live in a manner that is deliberate and intentional. The idea is to discover happiness in having fewer possessions and to appreciate the elegance of simplicity. By adopting a minimalist lifestyle, you will start to clear your physical surroundings, get rid of unneeded goods that are a burden on you, and use important time and energy, and reduce the amount of clutter in your physical environment. The more you let rid of your worldly stuff, the more you begin to let go of the mental clutter that you have. As a result, your mind becomes more clear, which enables you to concentrate on the things that actually offer you pleasure and contentment in your life. We learn from minimalism that less is more, which means that we have more freedom, more leisure, and more mental serenity. It inspires us to place a higher value on experiences than objects and on relationships than material possessions. Simplifying our life allows us to make room for the things that are genuinely important to us, such as our interests, our loved ones and ourselves. Now that you have made your life easier by adopting a minimalist lifestyle, it is time to take use of the power of visualization. By clearing up the clutter in your physical area and letting go of material belongings that aren't required, you have already made a significant step toward achieving freedom. However, genuine freedom is not tied to the ownership of worldly goods. Rather, it is found inside the depths of your mind. Utilizing the strength of visualization is habit number 15. Now that you have made your life easier by adopting a minimalist lifestyle, it is time to take use of the power of visualization. One of the most effective methods for bringing one's aspirations into physical form is the practice of visualization. 
Through the process of clearly envisioning yourself living the life you want, whether it be financial prosperity or personal achievement, you are able to access the boundless potential that lies inside yourself. Please take a minute to shut your eyes and picture yourself living the life that you have always dreamed of living. Visualize yourself prospering in every way, including being financially stable, emotionally satisfied, and surrounded by love and prosperity throughout your life. As if it had actually taken place, you should feel the thrill running through your heart. The reason for this is that miracles occur when you believe it with every fiber of your being, when you visualize it with unflinching confidence, and when you take inspired action toward it. You may accelerate yourself toward living a life that is beyond your wildest dreams by combining the power of visualization with the power of deliberate acts. The power of visualization is a technique that may help you bring your innermost dreams into manifestation and open the door to an infinite number of possibilities. When you close your eyes once again, try to see yourself living the life that you have always imagined for yourself. Visualize yourself working at the job of your dreams, surrounded by co-workers who are encouraging and who recognize your abilities. As you smoothly accomplish all of your objectives, you will experience the warmth of accomplishment. Create a mental image of yourself in loving relationships that are full with pleasure and harmony. Experience the thrill of going to far-flung places, learning about other cultures, and immersing yourself in activities that improve your life. The practice of visualization is not only a kind of wishful thinking, rather, it is a potent method that brings your subconscious mind into alignment with what you actually want. Utilizing visualization exercises on a consistent basis allows you to train your mind to achieve success and establish a path that leads you closer to accomplishing your objectives. Visualization should become a regular practice. The minimum amount of time you should spend each day imagining particular images from your ideal life is 10 minutes. Engage all five senses to the fullest extent possible. See the bright colors, hear the noises that are all around you, feel the textures that are under your fingers, smell the tantalizing fragrances, and taste the tastes that are exploding on your tongue. When you are working to harness the power of visualization, it is important to keep in mind that every great accomplishment begins with a dream that is deeply rooted inside the imagination of someone. Therefore, have the courage to dream ambitiously, have complete faith in the possibilities that are available to you, and take inspired action in order to turn those aspirations become a reality. Imagine that your success is already here. It is waiting for you. Time management is the 16th habit. In the event that you are having trouble finding enough hours in the day, it is time to become proficient in time management. Every minute of your time is valuable and you have the ability to take charge of your calendar and make it work for you. You have the ability to do remarkable things and live a life that is both free and fulfilling if you learn how to efficiently manage your time, which is a resource that is very valuable. Clearly defining your objectives is the first step in becoming an expert in time management. Exactly what is it that you want to achieve? How would you rank your priorities? Once you have a distinct idea of what it is that you want to do, you should next divide that idea into more manageable chunks of work. You will be able to maintain your concentration and organization with the aid of this. The next step is to acquire the ability to put things in order of priority and urgency. Make sure you give yourself some time every morning to go over your list of things to accomplish and choose which ones are the most essential and need your attention. You will experience a feeling of success and momentum that will carry you through the rest of your day if you begin by completing these things first. The removal of distractions is yet another essential component of efficient time management. Determine what causes you the greatest distractions, whether it be social media, emails or other people, 
and then establish limits around those things that cause you to get distracted. You should schedule certain times throughout the day to check your email or look through social media so that these activities do not take up your whole day. Just one more thing, don't forget to look after yourself. Self-care is very necessary in order to keep one's productivity and concentration levels high. It is imperative that you make physical activity, proper food, sufficient sleep and time for relaxation a priority. As you take care of yourself, both physically and emotionally, you will see an increase in your energy levels and clarity throughout the day. Time management is a skill that must be mastered through practice, yet with dedication and consistency, it is possible to break free from the limits which time imposes. Now is the time to take charge of your calendar by establishing crystal clear objectives, eliminating distractions, prioritizing activities, and making sure you take care of yourself. For the reason that when we become proficient in managing our time, we make room for personal development, achievement, and independence. Cultivating a reading habit is habit number 17. If you want to develop a habit of reading, you should begin by selecting books that are in line with your interests and then setting out time in your schedule to dedicate to reading. Reading presents not just a leisure activity, but also a chance for personal development, education and freedom. The power of words has the ability to take you to other worlds, expose you to different points of view, and question the views that you have previously held. One may open themselves up to an infinite number of possibilities by completely submerging themselves in the pages of a book. For the purpose of reading or listening to audiobooks, you should make it a top priority to set aside time every day. There is a possibility that you may need to make some adaptations to your schedule or make compromises in other areas, but the benefits will absolutely be incalculable. Create time in your schedule just for the purpose of escaping into the written word and allowing your imagination to run wild. Whether it's early in the morning before the rest of the world wakes up or late at night when everything else is quiet, you should locate those pockets of time that are purely dedicated to nourishing your mind and spirit. It is important to keep in mind that reading should be joyful, so choose books that speak to you on a personal level, whether they be works of fiction or non-fiction, poetry, self-help articles, or spirituality. Engage in activities that you are passionate about and investigate subjects that pique your interest. Find writers that are a source of inspiration for you and tales that mirror your own personal experience. The development of a habit of reading goes hand in hand with the adoption of a mindset of continual learning. As you explore a variety of genres and topics, be sure to take use of the information you learn from each page you flip. Imagine that each and every book is a teacher who is directing you toward personal development and enlightenment. As a way of liberation, embrace continual learning via reading. This will allow you to liberate yourself from limiting ideas and release the limitless potential that is inside you for yourself. Begin right now and you will see the planet grow right in front of your own eyes. Overcoming procrastination is habit number eight. The ability to overcome procrastination is critical for obtaining success in a variety of domains of life as well as for personal development to occur. The moment has come for you to liberate yourself from the shackles that are holding you back and to seize control of your future. Your energy is depleted, your time is stolen and you are prevented from attaining your full potential when you engage in the practice of procrastination. However, you should not be afraid since you possess the capacity inside you to triumph against anything. A change in mentality is the necessary first step. Rather than putting things off until tomorrow, you should give yourself the opportunity to take action now. It is important to embrace the concept that every moment is important and that by confronting challenges head on, 
you are moving closer to achieving your objectives. It is important to keep in mind that the only way to achieve genuine freedom is to confront obstacles head on and to refuse to allow fear or sloth dictate your actions. In order to conquer procrastination, it is necessary to establish distinct objectives and then divide them into more manageable tasks. By doing so, you will be able to avoid feeling overwhelmed and concentrate on completing one job at a time. Take prompt and direct action rather than waiting for the ideal moment or for the time when you will feel sufficiently motivated. It is action that motivates. Begin with a modest step, but begin right away. Get rid of the things that divert your attention away from the things that are actually important. It is recommended that you disable alerts on your mobile device, shut tabs on your computer that are not essential, and establish a designated workspace that is devoid of clutter. Get yourself surrounded by individuals who can encourage and inspire you. The energy they exude will serve as fuel for your desire to achieve achievement. Make sure you are responsible to yourself by keeping a notebook or utilizing productivity tools to keep track of your efforts on a daily or weekly basis. In order to promote beneficial behaviors, it is important to celebrate each milestone that is achieved along the path, regardless of how tiny it may be. Prioritizing one's own growth is habit number 19. Setting a priority on one's own personal development is essential for attaining long-term success in a variety of aspects of life and for maintaining continuous progress. You are the one who has the ability to choose your own fate and to develop into the finest possible version of yourself. A straightforward choice, the choice to put money into your own personal growth and development, is the key to getting everything started. Take some time to think about where you are in life right now and where you would want to go in the future. Which abilities are necessary for you to acquire? What specific information do you need to acquire? Today is the day to make a commitment to set your personal development as a top priority and to take action toward achieving your objectives. Begin by establishing objectives for yourself that are concise and detailed. To make things more achievable, break them down into smaller tasks that you can focus on every day individually. Make chances, rather than waiting for them, to come to you. Always be on the lookout for new experiences, push yourself to your limits, and go beyond of your comfort zone. Accept the fact that failure is a necessary step on the path to achievement. You should devote some of your time to learning and obtaining new abilities, you may read books, go to workshops or seminars, or take online courses. Whatever it takes to broaden your knowledge should be done. Put yourself in the company of people who share your values and who may provide you inspiration and motivation. You should look for mentors who can help you along your path. Personal growth is not a process that can be completed quickly. Rather, it is a process that demands continual work and attention. Always maintain your dedication, even when you are confronted with challenges or failures along the route. When you make your own personal growth a top priority, you are establishing the groundwork for success in all aspects of your life, including your relationships, your job, your health, and your general well-being. Since you now have a better understanding of the significance of personal development, let's investigate yet another strong habit that may make your trip more enjoyable. The practice of mindfulness. Developing mindfulness is habit number 20. It is necessary to create a sense of present moment awareness and to accept a non-judgmental attitude toward your thoughts and feelings in order to fully experience the advantages that may be gained by practicing mindfulness. What it means to practice mindfulness is to pay attention to your thoughts and emotions without getting caught up in them or evaluating them as either positive or negative. Mindfulness is about being completely present in each moment, accepting whatever comes your way with an open heart 
and the knowledge that every experience has something of value to teach you is the core of this concept. By engaging in the practice of mindfulness, you are able to access the power that is present in the moment. You start to become aware of the ideas that come and go across your mind like clouds moving across the sky. You acquire the ability to monitor your feelings without allowing yourself to be distracted by them. Being able to respond to the obstacles that life throws at you with clarity and poise, rather of responding impulsively, is made possible by this. Through the cultivation of present moment awareness, you may free yourself from the shackles of regrets over the past and worries about the future. You transform into an active participant in your own life, paying complete attention to each moment as it unfolds before you. Now that you are free from the load of worrying about what could occur or feeling remorse about what has already occurred, you are able to concentrate on what is genuinely important, which is the here and now. The practice of mindfulness is not always simple, particularly in the current world that is loaded with distractions and moves at a breakneck speed. However, if you put in persistent work and attention, it will eventually become a habit that may completely change your life. You could begin with a little step, such as setting out a few minutes each day to sit quietly and notice your breath, or you may just pay attention to the feelings that occur in your body while you go about your everyday experiences. Because mindfulness helps develop your capacity to remain calm in the face of hardship, it will become simpler for you to build resilience as you include mindfulness into your daily routine. It strengthens your ability to adjust to new circumstances and recover quickly from difficult circumstances. Therefore, let's go more into the ways in which we might learn to be resilient in our lives. Building resilience is habit number 21. During the process of developing resilience, it is essential to acknowledge that disappointments and difficulties are an inevitable component of life. The way in which you react to the challenges that you face in life is what defines your character and decides how successful you are. Life is full of both difficulties and successes. You should not allow failures to define you. Rather, you should utilize them as stepping stones on the path to personal development and freedom. There is no such thing as avoiding failing or assuming that everything is under control when it comes to resilience. In order to succeed, it is necessary to confront obstacles head on, accept them as opportunities, and persevere through them with unyielding tenacity. It's about having faith in oneself, even when it seems like the odds are stacked against you for success. It is necessary to first create a positive mentality in order to get started on building resilience. Your mind should be trained to see failures as chances for development rather than as obstacles that stand in the way of your progress toward achievement. You will be able to maintain your concentration and motivation throughout difficult times if you first establish objectives and then break those goals down into smaller, more manageable tasks. Ensure that you surround yourself with people who are encouraging, who have faith in your capabilities and who are able to provide direction when requested. Make sure you keep in mind that developing resilience is not a one-time event, rather, it is a continuous process that calls for consistent work and introspection on your part. Failure should be seen as an opportunity for learning, since every obstacle contains important lessons that will help you move ahead on your path to freedom. Accepting failure as a learning opportunity is habit number 22. In order to achieve personal growth and development, it is vital to understand that failure is a chance for learning. Failure is not something that should be avoided or dreaded. Rather, it is an unavoidable component of the journey that is life. When you are willing to accept failure, you are throwing up the door to fresh chances and possibilities for personal development. Take the lessons you've learned from your past mistakes and utilize them as stepping stones on your path to success. Make use of the knowledge gained from each setback in order to improve your performance in future undertakings. 
Take the opportunity to learn more about yourself, your abilities, and the areas in which you need to grow when you experience failure. In the face of any obstacle, you will get crucial insights that will help you go ahead. It is important to keep in mind that failure does not define you, rather, it refines you. It helps you develop resiliency and character, which in turn makes you more powerful when confronted with adversity. Failure is a crucial step on the way to greatness. Therefore, it is important to accept the suffering that comes along with it and go on with confidence. You shouldn't allow fear prevent you from trying new things or taking chances. You should do both. Failing to succeed should be met with excitement and curiosity. You should push yourself beyond of your comfort zone and have the courage to fail big. Celebrate every mistake you make because it is a sign that you are maturing as a person and pushing yourself beyond your comfort zone. You may cultivate a growth mindset by seeing failure as an opportunity for learning. This attitude is one in which failures are seen as opportunities rather than as impediments. Not only will adopting this perspective be beneficial to your own personal growth, but it will also motivate everyone around you to adopt a similar mindset. As we go with our path toward personal development, let us investigate the ways in which cultivating a spirit of giving and contributing may further improve not just our lives, but also the lives of people around us. Developing a spirit of giving and contribution is habit number 23. It is possible to bring an incredible amount of happiness and pleasure into your life by cultivating an attitude of giving and participation. When you make the deliberate choice to give back to other people, you not only have an effect on the lives of those people, but you also feel a tremendous sense of purpose and fulfillment inside yourself. It is through acts of generosity that one is able to connect with the genuine nature of mankind, which is the ability to encourage and support one another. Giving does not necessarily have to take the form of monetary or material goods. It may be as simple as providing a listening ear, delivering kind words, or spending your time with people who are in need. Being there for other people and demonstrating real concern, empathy and fear helps to create an atmosphere in which individuals have the sense that they are seen, heard and taken seriously. Giving is closely related to the concept of contribution, which refers to the use of one's own capabilities, resources and resources in order to have a constructive effect on the environment that surrounds them. Every act of contribution, whether it is volunteering at a local charity, providing guidance to someone who is struggling, or beginning initiatives that address social concerns that are near and dear to your heart, provides value not just to society, but also to your own personal development. You may liberate yourself from the shackles of self-centeredness and open yourself up to an infinite number of chances for personal development when you cultivate an attitude of giving and service throughout your life. Your realization is that the key to happiness is not in amassing material stuff, but rather in cultivating meaningful relationships with other people. As your activities grow more in line with your principles, you will experience a greater sense of satisfaction and freedom from the superficial trappings that society imposes on you. Make a complete and total commitment to this spirit. Start out on a local scale by finding opportunities to give back to the community in which you live. Find groups or causes that are aligned with your interests and passions and participate in them. And keep in mind that every action is significant. When it comes from a place of love and compassion, there is no such thing as an insignificant gesture. Let us work together to create a society in which generosity becomes a natural part of life and in which everyone is aware that by helping one another, we are all able to improve our situation and get closer to achieving our collective emancipation. Cultivating gratitude is habit number 24. Developing an attitude of thankfulness is a strong habit that has the potential to greatly improve both your general well-being and your outlook on life. 
It entails intentionally identifying and enjoying the pleasant parts of your life, regardless of how large or minor they may be. Every day, be sure to set aside some time to think on the things for which you are thankful. It might be the love and support of those you care about, the splendor of nature, the comfort of a hot cup of coffee in the morning, or even the knowledge gained from the difficulties you've encountered in the past. Your thankfulness should be expressed on a daily basis, whether it be via the use of a diary, vocal affirmations, or actions of compassion toward other people. You may adjust your mentality toward experiencing prosperity and satisfaction by concentrating on what you already possess rather than dwelling on what you do not have. Not only can cultivating an attitude of thankfulness help you feel more fulfilled and happy, but it also helps you become more resilient when confronted with situations that are challenging. It serves as a reminder of the gifts that are already present in your life and inspires you to pay it forward by spreading gratitude and generosity to people who are in your immediate vicinity. By making thankfulness a regular part of your routine, you will be able to see how it alters your perspective on life, which will ultimately result in increased happiness, resilience, and inner peace. 25th Habit – Never Stop Learning A habit of pursuing knowledge and progress throughout one's life is what we mean when we talk about continuous learning. It requires being open to chances that will allow you to broaden your skill set, increase your level of comprehension, and investigate new points of view. Establish a commitment to study throughout your whole life by devoting a certain amount of time each day or week to participating in educational pursuits. Reading books, enrolling in online classes, going to workshops or seminars, or engaging in conversations with professionals in your industry are all examples of activities that might fall under this category. Maintain an attitude of inquisitiveness and openness and make it a point to actively seek out knowledge on subjects that either question your own ideas or intrigue you. Embrace the chance to gain knowledge from both your achievements and your setbacks keeping in mind that every event has the potential to teach you important lessons that may be used to your professional and personal growth. You will not only improve your capacity for knowledge and flexibility, but you will also build a mentality that is conducive to growth and resilience if you make continual learning a priority. Learn to embrace the journey of lifelong learning as a means of achieving self-improvement, innovation, and satisfaction in all aspects of your life. In conclusion, you have the ability to completely improve your life by implementing these routines into your everyday routine. Always keep in mind that consistency is essential. You may not be aware of this, but a research that was carried out at Harvard University found that regular meditation may reduce levels of anxiety and stress by 40%. Take into consideration the potential effects it might have on your overall health. Now is the time to take action and incorporate these routines into your daily life. When faced with problems, it is important to create a positive mentality, establish objectives, engage in mindfulness practices, and never be scared to fail. The first step on your path to a healthier life begins right now. I am appreciative of your hearing.